Hello and welcome! I'm Kim and together with my dogs, Bobby and Bilou, I live in my self-built camper van and we are getting ready to travel Europe together. Come along as we say yes to new adventures! Welcome back to a new video from Agrena in Spain. We just woke up, we're going for a morning walk, and then we are going to Las Pardenas Reales. So we're all ready, we had a beautiful little walk. It's an hour drive, so let's go. I got a map, I got an explanation. It's a 34 kilometer route. You can only drive it the right way around. So counterclockwise, I think. And uh, you can't go in because it's a military zone. That's weird. And you can go out. Well, she wrote everything down on the map. <laughs> she wrote it all down. So let's go explore.
So we drove almost all the way through. Um, we just have a little way, way to go. This is a place where we can go for a little walk. So we're going to have a look around. I did look, I did watch the documentary yesterday about here about Las Pardenas Reales. And there are a lot of uh, scorpions, was it centipedes, snakes, but it's winter. So they're probably sleeping because <laughs> that's the only thing that worries me a bit. But uh, yeah, it's really gorgeous. It's a whole, it's just, it's a whole mood on its own i don't know how to put it but it's just, it's just there's so much to see you don't know where to look we're gonna have some quiet brunch because i haven't had breakfast yet and then we're gonna go for a nice walk in a canyon that you're allowed to walk in and I am fascinated by this rock that I'm finding in the rubble that's fallen but it's oh, it's in here but it's so cool so this line is the rock and then this line is the rock and that line and that line it's it's in between all the layers is the rock I don't know what it is is it like calcite what is that it's so cool to see. Okay, we're gonna have another look around. So this place is really magical. It's Europe's biggest desert. I do have to say that I thought it was going to be desert and like like um, preserved national park, which it is part of it. But there's also a military base here. So I saw like big jet fighters, I think. And um, there's also some cultivated land I think that's what the name is so there was like some you could see that there had been some farmers going about and I thought oh yeah I didn't expect that here so if you're going here it's gorgeous it's beautiful but there's also some buildings here and there there's nothing happening there but there's just some there's traces of human life <laughs> and I thought it would be like preserved and left alone but it's gorgeous birds are really cool it's really cool I think if you're in the neighborhood you should definitely go check it out really cool walking around that canyon was awesome i do see why they don't let people in all the other spots because pew pew because you immediately see all of the footsteps you know it just breaks off the environment but it was so cool it was such a cool walk i'm really happy we went here now we're gonna exit 
de las parteras, parteras reales. And then we're gonna find a place to stay for the night. Hey, so we found a beautiful parking spot in Arguedas, I think it's called. There's this really cool carved out like houses back <laughs> behind the van, it's really cool. I hope we can have a quiet night here because it's really close to the Barnetas, but I'm really tired so I don't want to drive anymore. I've been driving a lot lately, <laughs> it's getting to me a little bit. So we're just going to hang out here and I'm going to do some editing and some work. Our evening walk and I just saw oh I can actually just see the snow mountain from here I just realized but we just saw that uh, sign of the casas here of the little cave houses and they were actually lived in by people from this village but we're gonna have a look around it's so cool well, I'm on a one -way track. now I cool i knew i was going to the bardenas because i had seen the documentary about it and i really wanted to go there i had no idea these caves were here so i think it's so cool that 
<laughs> these things just happen. <laughs> I just happen to come upon these things. I do think it's time for me to learn Spanish though because there's a man over there. His, it was He had a beautiful German Shepherd sitting in front of his house. I was looking at this dog because it wasn't doing anything. It was just sitting there guarding, but it didn't make any sound. I was thinking, that's a well-behaved dog. And then the man opened his window and he started talking to me in Spanish. But I was like, I don't speak Spanish. And when I started talking to him, the dog started barking. He was like, <laughs> that was really fun. But it's so sad because I would have loved to have a conversation with that man. But I have no idea what he was saying. <laughs> This town is really cool. If you ever go to Badenas, spend the night here. It's a free camper spot. It's freaking gorgeous. It is just enough to get by. Yeah, it is just enough to get by. So we had a wonderful evening walk and the village is really cool. There's this sort of church, I think, it's really beautiful. And this parking space is packed. There's still people coming and I don't think it'll fit. I'm not sure. It looks like there's a couple of spaces there. There's really cool camper vans, like really big buses and one that's like a four by, uh, what is it? Four wheel drive sprinter with like, it's really cool. It's like... <laughs> looking at it like, oh that's also a cool van <laughs> that's really cool so that's the end of our evening we're gonna get ready for bed and i've been thinking i was editing today and i think i'm gonna get back to posting once a week because when i get back in the netherlands i need to have some time to figure out and gain money so we can leave again for our next trip so i think that if i post once a week that'll give me some time to spend in the netherlands and figure out what I'm going to do next and how I'm going to do that. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep Wednesday or Sunday, but you'll see. You'll find out. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new adventures. Mm -hmm.